In late 2019, early 2020, the infamous COVID-19 virus hit throughout the world. In spring of 2020, the pandemic has spread throughout the United States. Pittsburgh was one of its targets for density. People's activities were impacted and plenty of people were forced to quarantine at home to prevent contractions. And this was also the moment that many of us realized how vulnerable human and nature can be. How will it change the city of Pittsburgh in a post-pandemic world and what should we do for a sustainable future? But first and foremost, what is sustainability? Humanity has the ability to make development sustainable to ensure that it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This semester, I was fortunate enough to intern for J. Frank Studios under Mr. Frank Dawson, where I have to work on various projects and I got to know how sustainability is put into practice for real life projects in Pittsburgh. In general, um, sustainability, I think, um, I think as far as water use and um, improving uh, the quality of our environment, I think that's impacted. In fact, Frank has initiated the Red Brut project in response to the social, environmental, and economic needs in the local area. The project was launched in 2016 to plant thousands of flowering eastern red buds and complementary native trees on trails and along the riverfront of Pittsburgh. The idea was started, and honestly, I tell this to everybody, there's a lot of great ideas. I just happen to wake up one morning and say, hey, I'm going to I'm going to talk to some folks about this. It was a board I sat on and but the Red Bud started because I, I when I would travel back and forth to New York, I would go um, about every two weeks, um, sometimes a little longer, maybe once a month, I would end up uh, traveling along the turnpike in uh, Pennsylvania from Pittsburgh to New York. And um, in the spring, um, you always saw the Red Bud trees blooming across the ridge ridges along the, uh, the highway. So because it's a long drive, you have a lot of time to think about things. So I, I was wondering, is there a way that we could introduce that where you would have that beautiful bloom in Pittsburgh? And so one morning I had a, a board meeting and uh, before the meeting, I went into the office and I drew a big pink line along our rivers on a map. and. Uh, Kind of calculated and did a rough calculation of what I thought how many trees we would need and um, I took it to my board meeting and uh, and they all embraced it they thought oh this is a great idea and now entering the sixth year of the red bar project thousands of red bars are planted normally the local residents are welcome to get involved in the process to volunteer and plant the red bars for their city it is an easy concept to grasp and people are educated about plants and the environment in the process. However, due to the pandemic, the volunteer activities were temporarily canceled, but the residents could still plant in their backyards. So, yeah, we give seeds and we give um, little uh, small trees. So they're usually, uh, you know, maybe 12 inches high and they come in a little plug and uh, and you can take that tree home and plant it too. So uh, yeah, so we're getting them in people's neighbor neighborhoods and then their yards as well. So, uh. Although the pandemic is a disaster for all of us, but it can be a ringing bell for us as well. A call to action to union to combat the climate change together, to care for our environment. It will need projects like Redbot projects that bring people together and bring the city back to its resilient form. I think there's been a healthy experience happening with a lot of people too, where um, maybe it slowed us down a little bit and maybe some folks are able to focus on their own health. And so uh, I think those are the benefits too that have maybe come out of it, um, provided you didn't get COVID. So, but, uh, but I think, uh, but yeah, I think some things gave us time to think. Moreover, 
Every one of us need to know that it is only possible with our participation.